Welcome, everybody. This is Dario Hunt from Live My Fearless. With me is my co-host, Mr. Doris Walker. Say what's up to everybody. What's going on, everybody? Artist D. Walker here. We really appreciate you joining us for an extremely special, special, special listening party with our awesome guest, Cheeky the Band. <laughs> we got Chips and Fox representing Chips, Fox. Say hey, everybody. Hey, <laughs> it's definitely a glorious day for many reasons. Uh, some, you know, there's an orange cloud that's kind of oh. been dissipating. Um, it's okay. And we get to have it's trickling in. We got we got like people falling in here. Oh yeah, hold on. All right. All right, we're back. We're Go good. ahead, Dario. Yeah. Well, it's, like I said, it's definitely a glorious Saturday um, for many reasons. One, you know, there's some some results have come in. And two, we get to have a great conversation and listening party with you guys. So uh, if you guys wanted to kind of introduce yourself to people currently listening and people that are going to be listening when we put this out later. Sure. Well, we're cheeky. We've been a two-piece writing and recording together for the past four years. Um, it's been a long process to get to where we are. Uh, definitely wish things happened a little bit sooner about being able to share music with you guys. Obviously, a lot of you here today have come out and supported us at shows. You might even recognize the song. Yep. <laughs> so sing along, guys. <laughs> Um, but yeah, yeah, we're finally ready to release this music. I mean, we could have just kept listening to it over and over again, nitpicking it, going back in the studio, but we're finally ready to put these two songs out. <laughs> yeah, that's that's her fault. <laughs> but uh, we finally did it. Uh, Matt helped us push that along as well, just kind of put it up there so we didn't really have a choice. Um, so we're doing this and we're proud of it, and we're excited you guys are here to be with us. Awesome. Yep, and we're kind of, we were based out of Brooklyn, and we still hope that things get better and we can start playing shows, hopefully set up some virtual stuff. Yeah. And we're just two badass bitches. <laughs> so before we get to you know, the two songs that we want to debut later, um, I guess we're going to have some just conversation and ask some general questions. Obviously, we're going to start with the cliche question. How has, you know, the pandemic and everything been for you guys? And how have you managed as a music group with everything going on and everything such in flux? I mean, obviously, we're not playing shows out. That was something we did a lot. and We missed it. But we, you know, we're going to wait until it's safe to do that again. We're even talking about doing virtual stuff. We're just getting comfortable with that. Um, but it has given us the chance to continue working on our music, like recording and writing. So that you sometimes don't think of time for. So that would have been really good for us to focus in that way, I think. Yeah. And, you know, we did take a little bit of time off, too. I think just emotionally, the weight of the pandemic hit really hard in those first few months. Um, like, I personally moved out of New York City. And the good thing about that for us, honestly, is we have like, a really space that we set up in the basement of the home that I moved into. Um, so it's kind of nice that now we really have like a safe space for us that when just comes down to visit, we can continue that writing process, yeah. um, which we tend to do at least once a month. It's hard to say with everything going on, yeah. but, um, but on like a personal level, I don't know, I think we've been pretty resilient through COVID, yeah. both of us, with work and um, just keeping in touch with friends has been really huge and keeping the dialogue open. Cool. Uh, Doris, I think you have some questions. Yeah, I mean, the last time I got to really see you guys at the same time was uh, one of your shows, honestly. Um, I forget when it was, but uh, it was like really fun and uh, I, wasn't that like right after um, that show where the photo behind you that was framed was up? Yeah, that photo. Point to the yeah. 
Actually, why don't you tell us a little bit about um, that photo session and everything? I remember you guys doing that. Was that part of um, promo for uh, the new music? You know, it was actually part of our rebranding, is what we yeah, call it. We didn't have any photos. Yeah, we didn't have like we needed to be just us two when we were finally ready to be just us two and found a sound we were liking and we didn't have any new photos like from the past like few years even, I think. Yeah. And all of our photos of us two also had like American flag behind it. So we were a little bit <laughs> which we can start posting yeah. again. <laughs> 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 right <laughs> that's so funny so yeah so we just actually katie bought this banana leaf Back sheet job. yeah sheet thing. and we walked the wall and then matt rented a camera uh -huh. or no he, he borrowed a camera from work like yeah. a nice quality camera we set it on a tripod we like did it ourselves oh, <laughs> yeah yeah and we decided to use this like photo just to be for this ep yeah. so we're just kind awesome. of that way. Yeah. And then, and do you want to talk about how uh, about Franny? <laughs> and, then, and I was like, I'm, you know, my art is music. So I was like, I didn't really have anything to frame. And I was like, well, my art is music, so I'm going to frame us. And so I printed out a photo and we got to frame it. And then you get to take it home, of course, if it doesn't sell. And I don't. Well, <laughs> I do not, no one wanted to buy that? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but then, like, yeah, there was this nice little party that they had at the mm -hmm. Oh, store. and we have the show after. That's yeah, what you're talking about. Yeah, okay. exactly. From the <laughs> free store party yeah. into our show, oh, right? Good night. Where was that? I don't show. know. Was it oh. Pine Box? Yeah. Was that the Pine Box Were show? Alpha? I don't remember. There's so yeah. many little spots. I know I've. Uh, I was that the spot that had the like taco truck in the back? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's uh, that's um Union Pool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, I saw you there too. Actually, I think on a second show maybe. Yeah, in the back in Brooklyn. Like, I feel like that's a thing. Yeah. But I don't know. Brooklyn shows. <laughs> But um, no, that's cool though. I'm glad you guys like. Honestly, DIY is a lot of the art process, you know, art making process. I'm sure a lot of that, in terms of like getting your even songwriting together, is like pushing yourself to do it, and not just like you know, um, just a label or a management or somebody outside. You might be friends and loved ones like, hey, you know, keep you know, maybe finish that one thing that you showed me or something like that, but. You gotta kind of muster it up yourself a little bit too, you know? Yeah, and you know, for us, it's like we both have to play a larger role because it's just two of us. So, and um, we also like support each other a lot through that. Like when one is slacking a little bit somewhere, the other one will push. I'm usually the one slacking. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, slacking. I didn't, yeah, <laughs> delaying things, procrastinating. Yeah, I don't really that's know. A little better. No, you like to say deep consideration. You gotta, you gotta go. change the vernacular. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. So yeah, I mean, you guys said that you guys are a duo. So I just want to ask, like, kind of what's the creative, I guess, dynamic between you two when you guys are coming up with music, and specifically with this new music that you're about to release. Um. So it really just starts from mostly us being at rehearsal together and maybe there's like a melody or some idea that I have on the keys. And so I'll start playing it or usually it's in between playing songs that we've already written. Yeah, because we don't, we don't jam. We're never like, let's just jam around. No. <laughs> it's like, usually Katie has a melody that she's trying out between songs. Yeah, like it. she'll go take a break and go to the bathroom mm -hmm. and then come back. Well, <laughs> usually this has happened a lot. So go out of the room, oh, come back, and like, oh, what is that that you're playing? Oh, yeah, like, I don't know. Why don't you sit down and yep. like, do this? And, and then, then, like, yeah, and she then, does something. And then I just. And the beat makes it go further. further. It just drives the melody. Yeah. Because, um, like, personally, a lot of what I write is has classical foundation. Mm. Um, so that's not. He doesn't listen to any music. I'm not joking. <laughs> <laughs> just, just cool and maybe I've heard her playing Enya. <laughs> <laughs> I play Enya specifically for my plants. I find that they don't 
Which is great because then, you know, she has this classical thing and writes, you know, a poppy melody over top of it. And then my my drumming is very, like, selective and grindy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's smooth, you know? And then it usually set, and then we usually sit and say, ah, well, now what do we do? Now I have to write this part. Yeah. So then I'll, like, mess around. And she's so patient with that process. And I think that's, like, the biggest thing about our writing is like she'll just let me go forever and get frustrated and work through it and then be like that chord's not right and she'll be like yeah that chord is not right and so then we'll try just a bunch of different things and sometimes we've written songs where we rip it apart oh we're yeah like, yeah this song is fun we hmm. got this and then we're like we come back to it and yeah then, like this yeah. is terrible it's definitely a Slow process, so, but it's also mm-hmm. like when it happens, it happens like it's yeah, just like that was it. We just wrote the song, it's done. Yeah. It's, it's really exciting, and we're getting good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. I actually wanted to ask you about the uh classical influence as mm-hmm. well because I know Definitely. you guys are trying to uh make that official release on uh, Chopin's anniversary, right? Thank you guys with October 7th. So yes, officially the songs were got them up. We got the date. We got the date. So they were technically released on October. Um, personally, I feel like Chopin is my one true love and soulmate. So um <laughs> Uh, and I don't know, his music has always spoken like pretty deeply to me and um, yeah, so that date just meant a lot and especially like turning to his music a lot and relearning how to play it. Um, Playing his songs on piano are extremely technical. Um, It takes so long to learn because I suck at reading music. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's like the slowest process, measure by measure, and memorizing. But once you get through like a stanza or a phrase that you like memorize and then can play, you add feeling into it, and um, it just is really, I think, special to me. Mm-hmm. And Chip went along with me choosing that date, and um, we grew it up really quickly thanks to Matthew. Mm-hmm. Um, and well, yeah, we just yeah. wanted to wait to do it, have a real thing. I'm, day I'm where pretty we could. sentimental too, so <laughs> that's kind of my problem. Um, but you know, we didn't tell anyone, and we were just waiting for this day so we could uh, share it with you guys. We were actually supposed to, I think, originally have this interview that day, but a lot of things happened, yeah, it didn't work out, but that's okay. And we're just really happy. This actually, feels good. This it's like this is an even better day, though. Even better. It's the best day. <laughs> <laughs> the day we got the news, and a lot of people are happy too. And, and well, now we can listen good. to some new music, you know, celebrate and everything. So, um, I guess I want to rewind a little bit. Like how, like how did you guys kind of first form as a band, as a group? Like how did you guys meet? How how this whole come together as musicians happen? We met in Manhattan. Okay. <laughs> we met in New York. Yeah. I'm from Ohio and she lived in Egypt till out when I was like 10. And then Jersey. Yeah. And then somehow made my way to New York because mm-hmm. you somehow made your way yep. to New York. Yep. Like, and we had, at the time, I was playing music with um, things Amanda and she played guitar with me and I would play drums with her. And Amanda and Katie work together at GC. Guitars. <laughs> and they met and they started playing music. Of course, I was playing music with them. Well, you and guys so, invited me to a party. Oh, oh. Yeah. At, when, at Nick's house, Nick Ward, who is when, here right now. Oh my gosh. Yeah, anyway. We went to a party that yeah. they invited me to. And it was my first time hanging out with like two new girlfriends that I had met in New York City. And I was like a little bit nervous. <laughs> and then come to find out, our old guitarist, Amanda, had been stalking um, oh, yeah. my solo project online and being like, ah. Oh, 
tips. We've got to get. We're, we've yeah. got to get our. We're gonna make our piano yeah. Yeah. And, and Oh yeah, it was kind of creepy at first. I forgot. Know. And that night when it was magical. It was, it was. magical. It was just everything just kind of clicked. We mm-hmm. all like kind of fell in love with each other. Yeah. And um, so then it was yeah, our guitarist Amanda, um, and. Then the three of us, yeah. yeah, we just started, we went to a sweatshop. But yeah, we used to rent by hour. Yeah, and just started writing together. Yeah. And, um, you know, we played out, we went on tour. Yeah. Uh, actually, like, we played our first show, and then we went on tour, like, a week later. <laughs> um, some friends of ours, uh, Finger Finger from Brazil, they flew in, and we yeah. toured around the Midwest, down the coast to... Nashville. Yeah, that was fun. Um, and then out through what? Ohio, Cincinnati, we Chicago was the first. Chicago was yeah. the first. We went yeah. like two nights there, which was incredible. Yeah. And um, that's kind of how that kicked off. And then eventually. Then we met a bass player. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, um, so then, yeah, Joey, Joanna. On our last night of tour, yes, she was Brazilian, and so she knew finger finger and, and wanted to see below them. me in the in the apartment below me and oh, wanted to go God. out and yeah. hang out with the Brazilians because our photographer, our band photographer, lived downstairs from yeah. me, Todd, and he sent her out to see the show and. We so then the yeah. next day, yeah, she started, yeah. yeah, the next day we wake up and I saw her out in the backyard and I followed out the window. I'm like, hey, were you at the show last night? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, are you Joanna? Because we never actually officially met. And she's like, yeah. And then we hung out and she started playing bass with us. Yeah. So we were a four piece. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then she moved away and so did Amanda. Yep. And then we kind of have to regroup and just be like, okay, well. Yeah, we, we, you know, we tried playing our old songs. And, you know, of course, it sounded empty or yeah. different. So we kind of had to regroup. And we wrote new songs, you know, for just the two of us saying, like, okay, we, let's keep going with me and you. And the songs were good, but it still had, you know, like, you just, once you have that sound wall of music, you know, you want to recreate mm-hmm. that. So we adapted, and I got a vocalizer, which really helped, I think. You know, she doubles her voice on Yeah. It's smart, though, right? It, well, it goes through the keyboard, goes into the pedal, so the keys that I'm playing, it'll make the harmony above, which is always a third above, mm. um, have the same key as to what I'm playing on piano in a, so, in a way. Yeah. And you got and then your, I got I have an SVDSX. Yeah. It's like a trigger pad, but it's made specifically for drummers. So I felt really comfortable with it. And we record piano parts, like pre-record piano parts to a click into it. And then I can trigger them back for different verses, choruses, even just like little moments in the song. I can trigger pre-recorded in time sounds and melodies. So then now when we play out, people are like, I can't believe the two of you are making all that sound mm. and it's we're really happy with it it's great but even from like where the band first started mm-hmm. and how we met all the way through this evolution we still have had like a lot of great stand-in bass players mm-hmm. That's play really us. True. our friend nathan our friend dan and then um, brian was on brian tour with us bk with us. Yeah. and um now we are now Seichem. Seichem play now. Yeah, so we definitely are open to like, you know, having a little bit more oomph, but at the same time, the two of us are, I think, fine. Yeah. Nice. For sure. Yeah, I mean, if I was just to hear your music from, I was like, there's no way this is coming just from two people. So I think it's like really impressive that you guys are able to put out such, you know, such great music and such complex kind of sounds that you have. And I, I guess you guys describe it as bitch pop. So I, if, you, if you guys want to kind of, uh, you know, describe your music to somebody who had, if they had never heard it before, like what is, what is bitch pop basically? Well, it's, 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 it's the genre I've created. I don't really think it really fit into any genre. And, you know, we've been compared to different bands um, before, <laughs> like, what sometimes radio heads, sometimes war paint. Yeah, we get war paint uh, metric a lot. Metric Lana Del Rey. Though I don't really believe my vocals sound much like her. I felt that was more Amanda's touch mm-hmm. than mine. 
Um, but we usually say like we're dark and melodic mm. and moody and poppy, which is and we're definitely like, poppy because I mean you know we go verse, chorus, bridge. Yeah. Sometimes it's a little different, but you know we have structured songs. Mm. So. Yeah, that's what pitch pop is. And yeah. We definitely welcome any other bands to join. The- <laughs> join the movement, <laughs> huh? <laughs> I uh, I guess me and Doris were kind of talking about you know what, how we would describe your sound before, and he kind of came with like a melancholic turn up or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that. Yeah. It's, it's you know because it's like high energy, but it's still got this melancholy, and it's like how does that work at the same time? You know. <laughs> so yeah, it's dope. Yeah. Kind of like done better than you did on that. <laughs> <laughs> there's no room and that's why sometimes i feel our music is a little bit hard to listen to because it's so in your face in my opinion yeah yeah definitely i mean it can seem nonchalant if you're not like tuned into the lyrics like if you heard it passing by you might not really catch the like the like real cheekiness you know (laughs) but like when you're tuned in you're like Yeah, you see that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's a reason. There's a reason they they're named that, <laughs> and you actually catch it. It's like really nice to hear even that like sort of a uh, connection between the name and the style of the band, uh, kind of connect a little bit. So, because you don't often see that. Sometimes it's just a, a random word that's the name of a band, and then like you you never hear anything else about it. Mm-hmm. So I, I like that aspect about you guys. You guys keep it fun, keep it witty, but also like highly, you know, studied and intelligent. Um, what I actually really like is that that structure because it, it's like it's structure, but you you choose to like syncopate well. So like coming off of the beat and, and like making it a section is really cool. I like that you guys kind of really, I don't know, the musicality is really interesting. And that's actually a lot of shifts because she, you know, she's very responsible for kind of making those changes and the music aware when I'm doing a very, like, straightforward, like, on piano, how much can I do, like, to change the feeling of the song It really comes with the foundation, which is drums, which is her. So I'm, like, thankful that she understands. Yeah. it helps us write too yeah. because when I know a song needs the moment needs to change, then that triggers like for Katie, she'll write a whole new part then that she never could hear before. Mm. Yeah, that, her, yeah, because obviously I don't write, I can't write music like that. I don't play piano and stuff, so I need her for that. And it's great how she responds to just me being on a like monotone instrument. You know, there's no no notes, <laughs> so it's how she can even respond to rhythm changing or even dynamics and just produces a song out of it. We're incredibly lucky. <laughs> this teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> so since we keep talking about your music, I, I say that we just kind of hop into it and start listening to some of, well, you released two songs. So we're going to kind of hop into two songs that you released, recently released on your Spotify. Um, so first song, I think Doris's favorite is called God Damn. And, uh, I don't know if you guys want to intro the song, how maybe kind of give a little insight to how this song was made and put together and kind of maybe some of the meaning behind some of the songs. Um, well, when we wrote Goddamn, well, first of all, straight up, the song is basically about robots. There's two types of robots. You know? There's actual artificial intelligence robots, and then there's just humanity. You know, like we're kind of exploring the fine lines um, between humanity, morality, and our relationship to technology. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, it's really a question that we've been asking ourselves a lot in kind of today's day and age: Are we yeah. slaves to technology? Yeah. Um, yeah, you'll you'll notice at the end where you say a line. Uh, drip, our hearts are dripping uh, fish, fish dark, or dripping blood, blood as black as blood. Yeah. You know, mm. you know, as your blood is now evil or oil or, you know, just that <laughs> petroleum. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's kind of what, what yeah. the song is about. Um, 
throwing your soul into devil technology. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Like not to discredit it though, but we were watching a lot of Westworld at the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up though. I mean, it kind of has like a Eleanor Rigby vibe, but not. <laughs> Now that you say that, I definitely see that connection. That's that's dope. <laughs> so, I mean, let's just get into some melancholic turnip. This is goddamn. Uh, uh, uh. Hang on in there. I said with that like the way you syncopate like when you drop the beat the breakdown uh in the bridge i think that shit is tight yeah <laughs> all right uh the second song sh- <laughs> absolutely i saw hands waving heads bobbing 
Um, and like I said, or how we started this pod saying, um, these songs are currently available. So as soon as we're done here, you guys can go to Spotify and play them back yourself. And, uh, you know, I'm sure the quality might even sound just touch better than now because it's not being streamed Strange. through a stream. <laughs> it's, it's only one stream <laughs> instead of the dual stream quality control we got. But it's still, it's still, you know, nice to hear these. Yeah. Yeah, we have um, both songs will be up on Spotify. You can, it'd be it's great to like, yeah, add it to your playlist, like them, share them, all that jazz. Yeah, follow us as artists. And yeah, follow yeah. us. That's about as good as my promotion goes. <laughs> yeah, let's get those, let's get those numbers up. Everybody go stream it. Get those numbers up. Definitely. Playlist, yeah. put it on the playlist. Put it on your shower playlist. Every time you go shower, just pop down. And... All right. Um, Are we on to the next one? Or yeah, yeah, let's go on to the... This, <laughs> we'll get to the questions at the end. Let's get to the second song, um, Shadow, Shadow Down. Don't know if you guys want to do the same thing as you did for the first song, kind of intro it, tell us a little little background to the song, to the story. Anything you guys want to let us know? Sure. So Shadow is kind of, a, I think, really relatable for a lot of people. It's kind of like playing Russian roulette with parts of your personality. Um, and it's really kind of struggling with the internal dialogue about yeah. yourself and figuring out what parts that you kind of want to kill. <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of inner demon. Yeah, a lot of this kind of inner struggle and trying to find yourself, which I think we all kind of have dealt with a lot of that and anger in the past four years. When am I not myself? When am I not myself? When am I not myself? <laughs> yeah, kind of like an existential crisis. Yeah. Um, but I don't know, and it's pretty heavy. I think it's pretty yeah. heavy um, and driving. Yeah. All right. Word. So let's get to it. Here is Shadow.
<laughs> so that was the Living Life Fearless remix version. Uh, <laughs> with a little help from our friend Wi Fi. <laughs> yeah. Bad Wi Fi. Bad Wi Fi. <laughs> but that was another dub track, the second of the two that you guys released. Now, I know you said in our text interview, which uh, if all of you who are joining us here haven't checked out, make sure you go check out the um, text interview that we have up with uh, Ch Cheeky. But you guys mentioned you had six, uh, and that these were two of the six songs that you have in the stash. I was wondering about uh, any kind of timeline projected in 2021 or anything? About just about this yeah, we just talked about it. We are like, what are we going to do with these four other songs? Um, you know, they're all ready to go. I think it's just kind of like some of them were the first songs that we went in and, and recorded, and we love them. And then it's like we look back and we're like, well, you know, we've seen how far we've grown coming to these two tracks, which we recorded last. Yeah. But I don't think that's going to um, stop us from releasing any of those yeah. four tracks and, um, you know, just continue to record on top yeah. of that. So we have a few new songs that are like we'd rather record and get, get going, going as well. So yeah. it might be a mix of the four that are left, plus a couple more that we're going to go and record. But and there's some gems in there, like gems. our one song that we wrote, um, Echo. Oh, yeah. yeah. We wrote this song, and okay, not to bring it back to like TV shows, but then Stranger Things dropped, and like one of the lines in the song is, there's been Stranger <laughs> Things. Yeah. And, we're like, oh, yes. and it was like, Mediator sound in the beginning, yeah. it's like, and like, like, no, uh, like uh, our song. Yeah. It was like, did they hear this? <laughs> yeah. But um, and you know, the, but that doesn't like, really sound like us anymore. But well, it does though, in a way. There's a really cool guitar track on that though yes. that our producer laid down. Yeah, um, that person, Billy Perez, yeah. at EP Studios, mm -hmm. um, in Mihawk, New Jersey. He's amazing, and he's really led us through um, yeah a lot of this. And actually, I would say he even has some influence on the oh. way we come to sound because. Yeah. In the studio, we'll really, I'll go back in and we'll layers. add in layers and layers of stuff. And then what we did was recreate that in studio, produce sound yeah. live. Like that had a huge effect on yeah, us. Yeah, we love what Billy did so much. And yeah. then we would go to play and we're like, well, well we no. want to sound like a recording. Right. So, so we had to create it. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I think that we'll take a critical look at these four songs mm -hmm. and like kind of think about them. I don't know if anything needs to be redone. Probably not. Um, yeah, we're but, just going to release these two yeah. as a sneak, I guess, and yeah, then and see where it goes. I mean, it's a lot of my fault and insecurity. That's, hey. It hey. is true, though. <laughs> um, I just kind of like spit on things a lot. <laughs> Like you'll read <laughs> um, that we did with you guys. But yeah, I think actually um, doing the interview with you guys mm -hmm. and then putting in writing that you had to hold us to yeah. releasing something this year kind of is what really pushed us to be like, okay, let's just do yeah. this. And who cares what people think? Because I love it. <laughs> About to yeah, it's really helpful having a tight knit support group that's really pushing us to do this. And I, I don't think we're going to stop now. The ball's rolling. Yeah, the ball's rolling. It is and it's rolling. Everyone to see. <laughs> <laughs> well, so far we have, you know, in the interview, you also said we had to hold you accountable. For uh, before, that, before that, before that, before that. Wait, wait, wait. wait. So before that, that before that, happened. before that. There so is a little bit. We're going to try to keep the ball rolling on, you know, watching you. If you guys have any questions for Cheeky oh. before we get out of here, uh, let us know in the chat and we'll try to read them off to her before we keep going. You can continue, Doris. Oh. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like I said, um, there's just a lot of little threads that um, some of the stuff we've, we've kind of covered uh, that came from that initial interview. And, um, yeah, I think after hearing your two new tracks, um, all of us are excited to hear more. We just want more. 
some more. <laughs> so um, maybe you and um, you know Mac can you know push out some more vocals. Get get a, get the camera going. Give give us some more visuals. I mean, not vocals, visuals. You know, yeah. any visuals planned? You guys talk about that today, though. Uh, like yeah. music videos. Yeah, uh, so, yeah we actually a yeah. good friend of ours wanted to do a video for us a long time ago, so we might. Yeah look into that, but honestly, I was kind of excited about trying to do something DIY. Um, I kind of enjoy making these all weird videos, but like, what visuals, like, what do we even do? I think we're still figuring that out. Like, what do we want people yeah. to see when they're listening? Like, um, I feel like I kind of just close my eyes, even when we're performing, so I don't really, I'm just in a dark space. <laughs> Yeah, maybe we'll just put up a black screen. <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest. You guys could totally do that. Here's the treatment, because it's lit. You guys perform dope. Chips always has these really emotive sort of like, like when she knows she's about to hit that drop, she'll just, ah, and then like, <laughs> dang it. Like, <laughs> so like you can switch from like that, that like zone and you know, like where you're just on the keys and then like bounce right back to the chips with the like dark background, just like hitting the bay, you know, <laughs> just like, it'd be nice. Just keep it like real simplistic. That would yeah. be a nice, easy, and then you could always release an official video after that, yeah, you know? Okay. We have some live yeah, thanks yeah, to the ideas. <laughs> and maybe as far as like a release um, for the four songs, we could just have our fans vote on it or something. We'll give you the track titles. Yeah. Do some type of voting thing because that'll just put the pressure. Yeah, on us. we're yes. learning. Yeah, we do Yeah, we just want other people to do it. <laughs> <laughs> have the music. Yeah. And yeah. Make them help. But speaking of health, I just wanted to also give a shout out to friends and family that tuned in today to listen. Yes. Um, and also Chris Whitaker, Mr. Chris, and Cynthia for um, helping actually fund a lot of our recording um, process. Um, you know, and funding, actually that money has stretched us so far and we still have money in the bank to, master you know, rest, yeah. yeah, master the rest. So it, it was really special um, to have that type of support and obviously like family intimates giving us lessons, <laughs> <laughs> you know, believing in us, our moms, Aww, you know, moms are great. yeah, <laughs> you know, special shout out to all the support. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's important. I'm going to give a hand clap to all you guys that supported Cheeky. You guys are definitely important. We appreciate you. Um, Cheeky appreciates you. <laughs> definitely. So uh, let's get to some, some, some fan questions, speaking of, you know, your supporters. So first question is, what should your fans be called? She has an answer, but I want to see what your answer is first. <laughs> Yeah. We, been, we say cheekettes sometimes, or yeah. cheeklets, right? Cheeklets. Like uh, chicklets, yeah. but cheeklets cheeklets. was something we've been toying with. <laughs> <laughs> well, her oh, suggestion, man. their suggestion is, yeah. their suggestion is cheeky bitches. And that's Q from Dia. <laughs> <laughs> that what was that from? From Dia. Q from Q Dia. From Dia. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, you. That was great. I love it. Cheeky bitches. Shout out to my cheeky bitches. I mean, bitch pop, right? Like, uh... <laughs> That's a cool suggestion, dude. <laughs> Okay, from Michael McCormick, uh, we have a question. We, it says, let's see, I know you're from NYC and now you're down, like down south. Is the plan to stay there after the pandemic? And the second part is, any plans to do virtual shows, paid or like Facebook Live performances? Yes. Yeah, I mean, so I moved back to Pennsylvania now, which thank God I moved here and registered to vote. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you put the vote out there. There you go. <laughs> um, 
But, you know, after the pandemic, I don't know, because so far, we're like, making this we're work. Making we're, like, we're in a long distance relationship now, technically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then, okay, like, I'm here, um, not just because of the pandemic, but my, you know, my family is inside here, and just the circles have to be so smaller. That's the circle that I didn't want to exclude mm-hmm. um, while being responsible during COVID times. So, I don't really know. I don't know We're, if I, I see you. I don't know if I see you leaving Brooklyn. No, and it's same. definitely going to be one of the main places that we still play out. Exactly. She'll come into the city and yeah, play. So and, in a sense, like, I'm still halfway in Brooklyn. Um, and, yeah. But, yeah, we, we're talking about doing record, uh, playing live, virtual live. We want to do something soon. That would be the tech part of it. Yeah. It's like, soon. I'm a little challenged, um, but need to figure out, like, what do yeah. you use a, a video camera and hook it up to the laptop thingy and then the internet thingy. <laughs> <laughs> technology thing I've done in a while. Yeah. So, um, yeah, but we're going to figure it out. And you know, we more know of us. people Don't that worry. know how to do it. We're not yeah. that helpless. So we'll figure it out. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the plan is to do so. Um, mm-hmm. Probably not for money, though, right? No. Probably with donations or something if yeah. anyone wanted. But mm-hmm. And some time yeah. and love. Yeah. I mean, virtual, virtual is definitely a big part of, you know, everything right now so i think every band is kind of trying to figure it out as, as they go yeah. yeah all right from patrick it says love the songs uh paris washington says sounds really great guys sounds really well done sending love from cali From Jerry, great work, guys. From all right, we got some suggestions for your fan names. Uh, from Anim, Anim Arnold, I think I got that right. It says, I think Chicletas. <laughs> okay, I like that. Spell soft with Ben. <laughs> and from Patrick, guys should be Cheetos or Cheeky Bastards or Chicos. Come <laughs> on, Patrick. Who knows his- and last one Anine Arnold also cheeky blinders (laughs) (laughs) the cheeky blinders (laughs) (laughs) oh my god all right, we have one more question. Are the two new songs recorded in Weehawken or are they done remote at home studio? Uh, we were done at Kiwi Studios in Weehawken, which is an amazing place. They have a, one of 10 focus right consoles in the world. Um, you know, having it's access- almost complete, right? Because there's a few channels yeah. missing because some famous person wouldn't give them up. Yeah. Yeah. But it's all the input. I don't know. There's a whole story about it. It's amazing. Hear, there's an HBO <laughs> documentary about these consoles and you can see Billy, our producer, is interviewed for that. And I forget what it's called. Uh, but the place is amazing. We go in the back, we can pull out all of these different keyboards to use. They have an amazing grand piano. They, they um, so I usually build a yeah. keyboard for it yeah. there, and then chips can go into the drum room and just pick from all of these symbols because not only is it a recording studio, but it has a rental mm. studio attached to it, which is why we have all this amazing gear to use along with it. Yeah. Um, you know, like I guess I could name drop some people that rehearse there, like Jay Z and Beyonce. Mm. <laughs> 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 Wu Tang. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Um, oh, when they were doing the remote sessions for one of the late night shows, oh, the yeah. performances maybe her. No, I don't know her. Her. Yeah, her. They were performing actually in the space that we recorded oh, in. So it's safe. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Because it's a big, yeah, it's just a big room. warehouse, like space, room, yeah. yeah, and it's it's giant. So like, Katie can we can be a, we can record together, 
you know, and still not pick up all the, that's how well, important it's also in that yeah, room you were in the room they built. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it's just a really amazing facility. Um, yeah. We've been really lucky we're really happy. to be able to use it too. And, um, you know, I've recorded there for years, like with past projects with Billy. So just working with him feels right. Um, He's so patient with us. Yeah, we can probably <laughs> little demos, or maybe should try to do more little demos at home, like together, since I have recording here and software. Yeah, um, but yeah, we just feel so spoiled by yeah. Billy and you know access to the TV. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a really great place, um, so very lucky. Sounds amazing. Well, uh, we're going to start to wrap things up. First of all, we want to thank everybody for joining this listening party. Obviously, we want to thank Cheeky personally. This is a great, uh, great sit down with you guys. You guys are amazing. Your, your songs are great, and we, we really look forward to everything you put out in the future. Um, Definitely, everybody go to their Spotify. Let's get those streaming numbers way up. Go listen over and over again. And uh, you can follow them, uh, obviously, at Cheeky, Cheeky Band, I believe, on Instagram, cheeky cheekyband.com. Um, I'll have all the links and all the you know specific places you can follow them in the description of this video when it goes up later on our YouTube. Um, you can follow us on Living Life Fearless on Instagram and Facebook and everything else. Uh, we will, we plan to, you know, collaborate with you guys more in the future. And we definitely plan to have a lot more of these like listening parties. It's been really good for us. And it's always a good time to sit down with, with uh, talented musicians and just talk music and listen to some great songs. So, yeah. Yeah. Thank you for having us. Um, oh, Aya is here. Sorry. I need a shout out Aya. She's tuning in from Japan. I'm sorry. I cannot get over the fact that she woke up at 5 a.m. to tune in. So I'm just saying thank you and I love you. Yes, um, thank you everybody. Yeah, thanks everyone. Thank you guys for hosting us. So yeah, everyone that follows us, that does not yeah. follow Living Life Fearless yet, please follow them. Um, you know, this has been great and taking us out of our <laughs> zone. You seem very comfortable though. You, yeah. seem, you did fine, you did great. <laughs> great day and for everybody who maybe showed up late this will be up on our youtube channel later and we'll post it throughout the weeks on your instagram and everything else so don't worry cool. all right but hey bye everybody bye everybody bye, thanks bye. for joining us Keep living life fearless. Yeah. <laughs>